Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Collector Car Showroom, where we own all the cars in our building. We are not a consignment dealership. Uh, we own them all, so when you are dealing with us, you're dealing directly with the seller. There are no third parties involved. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hangsters.com. This is where you can find all of our most current inventory. Once the vehicle is funded, it comes down off of our, web our website. Uh, our videos stay on YouTube at all times. So uh, we never take them down whether they're a month old or three years old. Uh, they stay up there. The collector car market right now is very strong. Um, 60s and 70s muscle, um, 80s pickup trucks, blazers, uh, broncos. Today we're going to present to you one of the iconic muscle cars of its era. And in fact, there's rumors that General Motors is coming back out with one. Um, and we have today a 1969 Chevelle. Great, great combination on this car. I can promise you this car will not last long, and I will tell you all the reasons why right now. Power steering, power brakes, 396, no air conditioning. Uh, it does have the Caltag present that you'll be able to see in the still photos up there in the driver's side corner of the hood. Great color combination you're going to see on this car. Red with white stripes. Overall paint condition of the car is very, very, very good. Um, it's a driver quality paint, but you know you do have a couple imperfections here. You'll see a little chip there in the stripe. A little chip there where it might have taken some debris from the road or what have you. Um, we'll point out a couple little miscellaneous spots, but overall very, very nice. Look at the chrome on the front bumper. Great condition. Uh, you'll see the 396 uh, SS badging on either side of the car, both uh, driver's side and passenger side front fenders. BFG radial tires, uh, Krager five-star wheels. Uh, you'll see the glass all the way around the car is in great condition. You have dual chrome mirrors. Door fitment on both sides, uh, driver's side and passenger side is really good on the car. Take a look at the interior. You have your desirable um, staple shifter in the floor, center console, black vinyl seats, seat belts in the front. Um, the carpeting is in great condition under the floor mats. Both driver and passenger side. You have your SS396 floor mats, which is kind of cool. Dome light is functioning up there. You'll see the headliners in great shape as well. Door panels. You can get a close up here. You can see some uh, paint worn off on the inside of the driver's side, like where you grip with your hand. But uh, the vinyl on the armrest, the vinyl on the door panels, very, very good condition. Uh, it's got an aftermarket steering wheel on it. Uh, dash quality, very good. I don't see any cracks or fading or need for replacement or anything to be addressed up there. Doors open and close with these. Shooting down the side of the uh, car there on the driver's side. Again, the door fitment's good. Uh, deck lid to the rear fenders, both driver and passenger side. Very good. Got your Chevelle designation there on the deck lid. White stripes uh, continuing onto the deck lid up, you know, where they start on the front hood. Go down over the deck lid. Uh, we do have a trunk mat in there. You can see that the uh, trunk condition is in good shape. Uh, there is no spare. So uh, we, go, we get asked the question all the time, is there a spare? Uh, if you see a spare in the photos or the video presentation, that means the spare comes with the car. If you do not, that means there is no spare. And in this case, there's not. Uh, you will get the original air cleaner um, that is in the trunk. We are going to send that with the car. Chrome on the rear bumper is good as well. You'll see your dual chrome tips coming out the rear there underneath the uh, rear bumper. Shooting down the passenger side of the car. Again, the door fitment, very good, just as the driver's side is. Uh, all the paint on the roof is real good. I, other than the two um, little blemishes I showed you at the beginning of the video I don't see any other issues uh, with the paint at all and of course 
red is one of the most desirable colors in a muscle car. Uh, passenger side door panel interior is the same as the driver side, very good condition. Again, the carpeting on the passenger side mirrors the driver side, nice, nice quality, nice condition. Um, the armrest in the center console is in good shape. Looks like all the chrome around the staple shifter is in pretty good condition. You do have three aftermarket gauges there mounted under the dash. We'll show you uh, that later on in the test drive presentation, see if those work or not. Continuing around the car, uh, driver, I'm sorry, passenger side looks the same as the driver's side in terms of paint condition and, and fit, overall fitment. You can see the uh, fitment of the uh, hood there to the uh, passenger side, driver's side front fenders is very good as well. Pretty good looking car so far. We're going to take it outside and throw it on the rack in just a minute here. I just wanted to tell you that uh, we get asked all the time about mileage, about engine rebuilds, about when cars were painted, so on and so forth. And the truth is, a lot of the cars in the building, we have no idea. Um, we buy them from private individuals estate sales, private collections. I can tell you we bought this uh, car here from a local gentleman. He has owned it for the last 15 years of its life. So it's been here in Central Florida for the last 15 years. Um, but a lot of times we don't get receipts on engine rebuilds, training rebuilds, paint. Um, sometimes we get binders that thick and then other times we get absolutely nothing. So if we have anything on the car, uh, we will present it in our video presentations. Uh, another thing is in, in reference to mileage, um, most of the cars, be it 60s, 70s, 80s, whatever, um, the mileage is exempt on the title or TMU for true mileage unknown. Many states um, will exempt vehicle mileage regardless of, um, you know, where, whether you're able to prove it or not. They'll just do it simply by vehicle year. Some, some states do it as uh, early as 10 years, if you can believe that, which... And in other states, as long as you uh, have it documented or recorded, they will actually uh, document it on the title and we can prove true mileage cars. But in this case, um, it's not a true mileage car and we have no kind of paperwork as far as the restoration, any type of rebuilds or anything like that. But I can tell you the car presents itself very well. It looks outstanding and it runs outstanding. So let's get further into the video. Underneath our 1969 396 Chevelle, uh, it's exciting uh, to have cars like this. It's getting harder and harder to find these cars. Uh, it's a competitive market. There's a lot of collectors out there. The hobby is very strong, so it's it's really hard to find good turnkey cars. You know, we're not in the restoration business here. That's not what we do. Uh, we buy good cars and we make them great cars. So um, we have a couple great cars to present to you this week, this being one of them. It won't last. Uh, power disc brakes up front. Big oil pan in this 396. You got a cross member in your way, but take a look at the oil pan. It's nice and dry as of right now. Same thing with the tranny pan. You know, I, when I make claims that these things are dry, I always try to say as of right now because if you're in uh, the collector car hobby, you already know if you have two cars or four cars or 10 cars or 88 cars for you guys out in Texas. Um, you know, you're going to have uh, drops in the garage or in the driveway or in your building or wherever you keep your cars from time to time. It's just the nature of the beast when owning these older cars. The more they get driven, the less they have a tendency to leak. For those of you up in the northern states, you know, when you store it for the winter time, you're going to have uh, leaks to contend with when you go to get it out in the spring, just so you know. Again, we have dual headers. You're going to see them dropping back into a uh, dual uh, Flowmaster exhaust. Frame rails on the car are in excellent condition. Check out those floor pans. Great shape. Great shape. Um, nothing out of the tail shaft seal. That's one of the places that a lot of the muscle cars have a tendency to leak is out of the tail shaft seal. This one is not leaking. You're going to see a 12 bolt rear. Um, drum brakes in the rear. Frame rails in the rear look to be good. With all the uh, muscle car hobbyists, we should all, like, I don't know, create a blog on how everybody puts dents in their gas tanks because we see them probably three out of every ten cars we get in, and I never understand how that happens. This one is dented, but it's in, you know, it functions. It's not punctured, obviously, or we'd have a real issue, but 
um, functions like it should. Drop downs on the rear quarters look good. As I mentioned earlier in the video presentation, you have your chrome tips uh, going out under the rear bumper. Fantastic car that will not last. We make it very easy um, from start to finish here at Hangsters. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, number one, we own all of our cars. Uh, number two, uh, we do offer financing if you need it. If you're a cash buyer, it just speeds up the process by a day or two. Um, most of our deals are cash, but for those of you that do need financing, short term or long term, we do offer that as well. Uh, work with three different collector car lenders who will offer terms up to 10 years on these cars with a minimum down payment, uh, proof of credit of course. Um, so we have the selection, uh, we own them, uh, we have the financing. What about shipping? We offer shipping at full retail price. Um, your shipping is included anywhere in the lower 48 United States. We ship all over the world, but uh, included at full retail price is shipping in the lower 48. Also warranty. No, you do not have to bring it here. You will see on our website that we offer through a third party warranty provider. The warranty is not through us. Every car we sell out of our showroom is sold as is. The warranty is through a third party provider, covers engine, transmission, and rear end, and if you're looking at like a Bronco or a Blazer or something like that, a transfer case, four wheel drive. A hundred dollar deductible, and the warranty company pays the remainder on a covered repair. Good at any ASC certified facility in the United States. Um, we can't even fix them here because we don't, we don't get into that kind of work here. We do minor mechanical here. Um, so, let's uh, drop this thing down a little bit show you guys what the paint looks like on the lower portion of the car and then we'll take it on on a drive. Some of you that know what you're doing ask the question, well how straight is the car? Um, and what people that don't know that term, uh, what people are referring to when asked that is um, the overall, uh, you know, the door, the fenders, the, not only the fitment, but you know, is there any body work in the vehicle? Are the doors wavy? Um, are the fenders wavy? Has it been packed with Bondo? So on and so forth. So. Generally, when you're dealing in a muscle car, if any uh, paint imperfections or paint issues are going to occur, they're going to occur low. Not always. Um, you know, you do have some upper issues from time to time with uh, improper paint prep, um, poor paint quality, cheap paint jobs, etc. But most of them happen low. As you can see, uh, the driver's side, low on the fender, good condition. The uh, driver's side door, you have a little tiny right there, a little tiny crack. It's not a uh, blister or anything like that. Just a little tiny crack. Uh, rockers are good. There's a little chip right here. You'll see, obviously, somebody, you know, just needs to be brush touched. Somebody maybe from entering and exiting the vehicle, their boot clip caught it or who knows, whatever. But uh, check out the bottom of the doors. There's no rust. Um, door seals are in good condition. I'm telling you guys, this is a good car. Like I said, it's been in Florida the last 15 years of its life. I don't know where it was prior to that, but uh, I'm going to venture to say it's a southern car because there's no indication of rust past or present. Check out the bottom uh, quality of the chrome on the bumper. Getting a look at the tips again one more time. Shooting down the passenger side of the car. Again, check out behind the passenger side rear tire there. No blistering, no cracking. Same thing with the uh, rockers. Low here, passenger side. Bottom of the passenger side door. You can see no blistering, no cracking, spider webbing, nothing. I'm gonna open up the passenger side door just as we did the driver's side door. And again, the um, weather stripping's in good shape. Bottom of the doors are in good shape. They're not rusted. No blistering on the passenger side front fender, either behind the wheel or in front of the wheel, in good shape. Pretty awesome SS396 uh, Chevelle, huh? Like I said, it will not last long. We're going to take it out on a drive. The car runs absolutely outstanding. I've already driven it. But please don't just take my word for it. I've shown you as much as I can. I don't know how much more we can show you guys. Um, but. We, all, we always prefer, I encourage you guys to come on down, take a look at the car, check the paint out in the sunshine, um, look at the car outside, drive the car, look at the car underneath on the rack. Um, I'd be more than happy to show it to you. Uh, this or any other car in our showroom, we encourage all of our buyers to come in person. With that being said, I can tell you I've done 
seven car deals in the last two days. And of the seven car deals, all seven were done sight unseen. Um, so we do a lot of transactions per month where people don't come see the cars. But like the reason I encourage uh, you guys to come check these cars out, I do this every day. So I know a quality car from a not quality car. Some people, it's their first car or second car or first car buying sight unseen and their expectations of what a 30, 40, 50, 60 year old car should be may not be the same as mine. So that way if you come first hand, you know exactly what you're getting when the car shows up. Let's take this thing out on a drive and have some fun. Inside our 69 Chevelle, we have wipers, two speeds, low, and high. And then they park back where they should when, when you turn them off. The speedometer works, we'll show you that here in a couple minutes. Got a aftermarket tack mounted on the center of the steering wheel, which functions. Turn signals are going to be on either side of your tack, driver's side. Kind of hard to see with the tack in the way. Passenger side, they both work. Fuel gauge is working. Horn is not, which is typical of these aftermarket steering wheels. What will probably end up happening is we'll end up putting a horn button underneath the uh, dash somewhere. Uh, the aftermarket gauges are functioning. Temperature's coming up. We just started the car, voltage, and then the course oil pressure, which is important when the car's running. The radio does not work. It's one of these new retro style radios, but there's no sound, so. There's also a Pioneer radio mounted in the glove compartment. I think that's just for the CD player, if anybody has CDs anymore. But um, nonetheless, we don't mess with radios, so if you buy the car, you figure out the radio on your, on your own. The sun visor is loose on the driver's side. It falls down your face. We have to uh, fix that up. Passenger side staying right where it should. Again, taking a look in the back seat. The interior of the vinyl looks good. You do have two 6x9s mounted up in the hat rack there. I'm not sure, again, why they don't function, but I'm not going to try to figure that out. But with a car that sounds this sweet, you don't really need a radio. This thing is nice. We're going to show you that right now. It's always a great thing when you have a car that has plenty of power, it has a muscle car sound, but it the, the exhaust doesn't shake you out of the car. I mean, the, the car sounds like a muscle car when you want it to, and when you don't, it, it has a nice, smooth sound to it. It runs smooth. The response in the steering wheel on this car is absolutely fantastic. The brakes work perfect. Um, there are zero vibrations in the car. No excessive noise. Let go of the steering wheel. The car tracks straight. The speedometer is right where it should be. We are in a 40 mile per hour zone. It's reading 40 miles per hour and it's not bouncing all around. Super nice running car. What a ride in this car. All right, let me show you why you need to buy this car and why this car is so much fun. take around the corner here, bust the tires loose, have some fun a little bit, but extreme, extreme pickup on this car. Doesn't run hot. Look at our temp gauge, 90 degrees in Florida today. We're not even up to 180 yet out of a big block Chevy. That's a nice feeling. Perfect. No pulling, no vibrations, red car, white stripes, financing available. I mean, the, the list goes on and on and on. This car will not last. It's a very nice car. It's a it's on the upper echelon of a driver quality car. A car you can have some fun with. A, a car that'll get some attention at the car shows, turn some heads on the road. You'll definitely get plenty of thumbs up. Great, great car. So 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. As I mentioned earlier, hangsters.com is our website. You'll be able to see at least 80 still photos, high resolution still photos of this car on our website today, along with this video you're watching right now.
Again, if you're seeing this video on YouTube, you're going to have to check out our website to see if the car's still available. We would love to earn your business. Um, before we conclude the video, we're going to take it up here and we're going to uh, have a little bit more fun. But, um, the car is an excellent car, it really is. You can hear the pickup, I'm barely touching the gas. I mean, you could, if you mash, mash the throttle, you could lose the rear end very easy. It's just a, it's a powerful machine for sure. Very fun car. So, we'd love to add you to our uh, growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the world. We have a lot of repeat customers. We have a lot of customers that come to Daytona on a yearly basis to see us, whether they're down here for Biketoberfest or Jeep Beach or Bike Week or one of the two uh, Speed Weeks or the Rolex 24. Um, we have fun here in Daytona. We invite you to come on down, check out our 25,000 square foot showroom, check out the 60 to 70 cars we have on hand at any time, and uh, possibly buy something and either drive it home or let us ship it to you. some up here sitting in my parking lot but uh hopefully they're not behind me hangsters.com check us out this is a fun ride and it can be in your garage in seven to ten days depending on where you're at in the country